Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Are you a Fire Stick user, have a little device like this, or maybe you're interested in getting one? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to expand storage on this little device. That's the only problem with these things, they just don't have enough storage, but they added something new to this Fire Stick Max you're gonna wanna know about. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video right now. All you're gonna need basically is one of the new 4K Max Fire Sticks. Now, if you have an older version of the Fire Stick 4K, watch my other videos on it because this is a little bit different process on the Max. It's a whole lot easier. It becomes native storage when you do what I'm gonna share with you in today's video. So you will need a Fire Stick. You will need an OTG adapter. So let's go ahead and plug that right in, okay? Then you're gonna need a hard drive. So whether you use a little thumb drive like this, which you can get for, I mean, I think this OTG adapter is like five or six bucks. And then uh, a drive like this is like five or six dollars. This gets you 32 gigs. You could do a 64 gig. You can go all the way up to two terabyte. But if you're gonna hang this off of your TV, it's nice to just have a little drive like that. This doesn't take up any weight. It won't put any pressure on your ports on your TV. And you went from an eight gigabyte Fire Stick, which really only gives you like maybe two and a half when you first plug it in right out of the box because there's so much internally on this, to now I just added 32 additional gigabytes of internal storage to your Fire Stick. So having something like this is just a simple, easy process. And I think this is five or six bucks and this is like five or six bucks, something like that. And then if you really want to get crazy though, you can go up to a two terabyte drive. Now I have one right here. This is a Seagate this Slim. Now, I will say that not all two terabyte drives are going to work. So make sure you use the link in the description of this video for drives, for adapters, all that, because what I'm sharing with you today is going to work, but only if you follow the same products that I'm using in this video. So let's go ahead and plug into the TV and let's show the whole process from beginning to end right now. All right, so I went ahead and restarted the Fire Stick with the OTG adapter connected and just a small, two gigabyte external storage thumb drive, just so you can see the process really quick, really easy. And you would be surprised how easy it really, really is. So I went ahead and plugged it in. So let's go to settings. I have not done anything else to this. I have not formatted any drives, haven't done anything. We're gonna go down to My Fire TV and you're gonna go to USB drive. Now this is where the external storage is going to be. Now you can access it internally without any third party apps. You can transfer stuff over to it. You can do all kinds of things now directly with your USB drive internally on the Amazon Fire Stick Max. Now the original Fire Sticks, you had to have ES File Explorer, ADB Shell. There's all different types of programs you would need to be able to do this. I did not have to format this drive. It did it automatically for me. Now, if you have one that might be formatted incorrectly or um, perhaps you formatted it for a different type of computer or something like that, then it will prompt you. It will say, do you want to format for the Fire Stick? All you have to do is say yes. It just pops right up on the screen and does it for you. It's so easy. You don't have to do anything. Like when I say it's easier than you thought, it's easier than most people would have ever thought. I'm glad they did this because I would have liked additional storage on the Fire Stick, but if you can just plug a, I think this drive cost me a dollar. They were, it was in the dollar bin and I just gained two gigabytes. Now you could do a, a 32 gig, a 64 gig, up to a two terabyte drive. But remember, some terabyte drives take up a lot of power from your Fire Stick. So you're gonna have to use specific two terabyte drives and I'll put links in the description of the one I use. So this is it right here. As you can see, I just added two gigabytes of external storage. I didn't do anything, guys. I did it right here with you guys, right here, right now. You go to about, you can see the uh, local storage, uh, both internal and external right there. On the right hand side, you can see both of them there. Now that really is the whole process. If you have one of the 4K Maxes, I, I know a lot of people have had the older versions of the Fire Stick. The process is different. You will need third-party apps. Watch those other videos if you wanna know how to do that. But if you have the financial ability to do it and you're already gonna be buying peripherals, why not just upgrade to one and make it a whole lot easier? You can move stuff back and forth so much easier on a 4K Max 
Now you will notice I have two 4K Maxes here, and the reason why is because I'm gonna give one away on this video. Since you stayed to this point of the video, you're, you know about the giveaway. I didn't talk about it in the beginning of the video. I wanted to do it to those that stick around on my videos. I also wanna talk about a couple other peripherals that you could use to expand storage as well. So if you wanna be entered into one of these, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel. Make sure you hit that thumb right down below this video, and then comment something about the 4K Fire Stick that you like. Expansion of storage capability is one huge benefit of this. Speed difference, another huge benefit. But what do you like most about the 4K Fire Stick Max versus the older versions of the Fire Stick? And if you haven't had an older version of Fire Stick, what do you think you like about it to begin with? So I'm gonna be giving one away to my subscribers. Look for that drawing later once I get a thousand likes on the video. Now, really quick, I just wanted to say that there's a couple additional peripherals that you can get for the Fire Stick Max to really make it a super max, it, to be honest with you. It's nice to have the ability to expand and this new Fire Stick 4K Max has that ability. So one of those peripherals is to use a hub. Now, not all hubs are going to work, so you need to make sure you get the correct hub. And I'll put links in the description of the video of hubs that do work. You want ones that can handle the power draw. So there's a couple different ones that do, so I'll put links to a couple different ones and you can choose. Sometimes one's on sale versus another, so it's always good to have that. Now, why would you want a hub? Well, not only are you gonna have the port that you would have with the OTG, but you're actually gonna have three, in some cases, four ports. And in addition to that, you have a ethernet port. So if you really want blazing fast speed or more than anything, just a stable streaming speed, an ethernet port is handy. Now, if your TV is far from your router, it really doesn't matter whether you have this or not, but you may want the extra ports. So a hub is an option for you as well. And in addition to that, I showed you how to install just a small little two gigabyte USB drive. And, and the reason I like to use the smaller ones is because you don't need a whole lot more on a Fire Stick and you don't really want to put weight on your ports on your Fire Stick. So if your TV is mounted on the wall or you don't have the ability to lay a big hard drive, maybe something like this below it, then you might just want to use a little thumb drive and you can get up to 62 gig or 64 gigs or I think even 128 gig gigabytes on those little thumb drives, but uh, they're very inexpensive now and you can get them on Amazon. I'll put links in the description of the ones that I use, but I just threw a two gigabyte on there, show you how to do it, but you can really expand up to a, like I said, a two terabyte, but it has to be a low draw. Otherwise I won't recognize it. And this is one that is recognized. So I will put a link to this one in the description of the video if you really want a lot of storage. I don't think it's necessary, and this is really heavy, so if you were to plug this into the back of your TV and had it dangling, you probably would potentially damage your TV. So I would just get a little thumb drive, and so I'll put links to the thumb drives. They're very inexpensive. This is kind of pricey, whereas the thumb drives super inexpensive. In fact, this drive is more expensive than the Fire Stick Max. So if you don't have a Fire Stick Max, spend your money on that, get a little thumb drive, something like that, and you really can have a great, great experience. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't really like I showed you any secret out there. It's just that the new Max has an easier way to expand storage. I wanted to tell you guys about it, give you the opportunity to see one of the benefits of a 4K Max. Again, thanks for watching my channel. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Thanks everybody.